the police shooting and killing of Dante Wright leading to renewed calls for change here in Lexington tonight. Racial justice activists want to see action while the city says they've been busy. The Lexington Police Department says they have either implemented or made progress on all the recommendations made by the Mayor's Commission on Racial Justice and Equality. LEX 18's Christiana Ford has more on the changes some still hope to see in tonight's Big Story at 6. Months after the death of George Floyd, protests, and that don't shoot, and that don't shoot. racial justice committees, and yet more trauma. We're exhausted that it continues to happen. Activists in Lexington, like April Taylor, says not enough is being done soon enough. So there are some municipalities and some entities who made promises that changes would occur, that we just needed to be patient. And when it continues to happen, we're like, OK, how long do you expect us to wait? The mayor's office and the police tell me that all of those 54 recommendations that were made are being addressed. They're either already implemented or in the works if they can do it at all. Meanwhile, activists are still saying that they don't think anything is changing. How, where and when? Again, I say it seems to be more so about talk than action. You can tell us anything. Can, you can tell anybody anything and expect for them to believe, to believe it. But as an activist, I want to see the results and actions behind what you're telling me. So it would be nice if the people in the street could know what was going on behind closed doors and actually have an input of, was, of what is going on behind closed doors. These are just some of the recommendations given to police. We talked to the mayor's office and Lexington police, and here are some of the big things they say they've already done. Body cameras will be fully deployed across the Lexington force by late summer 2021. Police training for de-escalation techniques is ongoing and continuing, especially as it relates to use of force incidents. They've enhanced information in police reports, establishing a sobering center for citizens cited for being under the influence and are working with UK to work to divert 911 calls related to addiction, mental health and homelessness to professionals outside of LPD. They say more progress is on the way and if you want to follow, it's on their transparency website. Christiana Ford, LEX 18 News.